Hello, good evening everyone. Better welcome to another session where I am going to discuss some important question based on Indian economy. These questions will be very useful for you if you are sitting for IIT Jan, Gate Economics, CUET paper. For all these papers, this is very very important. Ha, beta? Let's start with the questions. Take the first question, beta. It says, consider the following statements regarding the effect of devaluation of Indian rupee. Beta, devaluation kya hota hai? What is devaluation of the Indian rupee? When, suppose if your currency is rupees 60 per dollar. And suppose the currency exchange rate now becomes rupees 65 per dollar. So, now dollar is more rupees. Lag rahe na. For every dollar you have to spend more rupees. This is called devaluation. Kya hum bote hai se? Devaluation of the currency. So when your exchange rate increases, it goes from 60 per dollar to 65 per dollar. That is called as devaluation of the currency. Take a bit of question it says it makes export less competitive and cheaper for foreigners. And this option kya bol hai? It discourages exports. And this option kya bol hai, The third option is saying it reduces trade deficit. Which of the following statement is correct? Take a bit of let's look at the answer. So try to understand that first of all. Please try and understand whenever I talk about devaluation. Now, thoda foreigners ke sides se socho, ha? Huh? There is this person. He is in US. Beta, aaj tak, till today, when he used to spend one dollar, he used to get sixty rupees worth of goods. Saat rupee ke goods usko milte the, because the exchange rate was sixty per dollar. Now also he is spending the same one dollar. But now, because the exchange rate is 65, ho gaya hai, he is getting goods worth 65 per dollar. So, he is spending the same money. He is spending the same money, 8 dollar. But he is able to get more goods in return. How many goods are you getting? 65. Ke. So, he is getting goods worth 65 by spending the same amount of money. So, what is this? He is at a benefit. Right? By spending same money, he is able to get more. So, if he is able to get more, so, what does this mean? He will increase his demand. He will get more demand. He will get more demand. So, if he is increasing his demand, it means that the exports will increase. So, this is correct statement. This is correct statement that the exports will increase. But a second statement kya bol hai? Discourages export na. It will encourage export. So ye galat ho gaya. But a first statement kya bol hai? It makes export less competitive. Is it making you less competitive? No. Jabhi bhi aap apne product ko cheaper karte ho. Now Indian products are cheaper. Right? Because same paisa karch karke they are getting more of the products. So whenever you make your products cheaper it increases the competitiveness in the market. So is it making export less competitive? No, it is making them more competitive. But look at the third statement. Reduces trade deficit. Ideally speaking, ye bhi theek nahi hai. The third statement also is not correct. Why? Because we know the concept of the J curve. And, and there is a phase when you devalue your currency, deficits will increase. Come on, ki jaga, deficit bad jayenge. Right? So here, all of you should be aware of the Marshall Lerner condition. And only if this Marshall Lerner condition is satisfied, only then devaluation will lead to the benefit in the trade deficit. Or trade deficit ko kam kab karega? Only if the condition is satisfied. So, does it always reduce trade deficit? No. Only if this Marshall learner condition is satisfied. So, I really repeat it, none of the statement is correct. But if I have to choose one, to one or two to ekdam kalat hai. It does not, you know, go ahead and decrease the export. Export to humeshe hai badhata hai. 
तो वन एंड टू विल बी इन करेक्ट सो आई कैन गो विद द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट बट इट इज ऑल्सो पार्शियली करेक्ट ट्रेड डेफिशिट सिर्फ तब इंप्रूव होते हैं इफ द मार्शल लर्नर कंडीशन इज सैटिस्फाइड सो वट कैन वी से वी कैन करेंटली गो एंड इन से दैट ओके फाइन द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट कैन बी करेक्ट but here also you have to ensure that you are on the right side of the j curve only then it will be done okay beta look into the next question dusra question dekho which of the statement is best related to the concept of the kusnet curve kya batata hai kusnet curve kusnet curve basically bolta hai what does it say is that as there is increase in economic growth initially inequality in the economy will increase ab beta matlab jaise jaise as i will go from under developed to developing my inequality will increase then as i go towards develop slowly the inequality will also decrease to जब आप अपना पाथ ऑफ डेवलपमेंट स्टार्ट करते हो वेन यू जस्ट स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग देन एज यू मूव टूवर्ड्स डेवलपमेंट वॉट विल हैपन द इन इक्वालिटी इन द इकोनॉमी विल इंक्रीज एंड दैट इट सेल्फ इज कॉल्ड एज द कुनर कर्व तो बेटा इसमें से आंसर क्या हो गया रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ एंड इन इक्वालिटी यू शुड ऑल्सो नो द नेम ऑफ द रिमेनिंग थ्री कर्व होमवर्क Tell me what is this curve called? इसको क्या बोलते हैं इसको क्या बोलते हैं इसको क्या बोलते हैं Relationship between tax rate and tax revenue collected. बेटा ये कर्व ऐसे बनता है When tax rate is zero, tax rate is हंड्रेड परसेंट रेवेन्यू जीरो होगा और बीच में रेवेन्यू मैक्सिमम होगा वॉट इज दिस कर्व कॉल्ड यू हैव टू टेल मी दैट हा रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन गवर्नमेंट स्पेंडिंग एंड जी डी पी you have to tell me what is this curve called relationship between unemployment and job vacancy rate what is this curve called ye teeno ke teeno curve mein you have to tell me as part of the homework what these curves are called okay beta fine come to the next question it says with reference to economic survey 2020 to 23 Consider the following statements regarding India's outlook for this. It is very important to remember the latest figures of the survey. Ah, but a survey related latest GDP kitna project hota hai? पर कैपिटल टर्म्स में कितना प्रोजेक्ट हुआ है? You should be aware of all of those. So uh, look at the first statement. It says the survey projects a baseline GDP growth of five percent in the real terms. That's the first statement. Does it? No. You have to tell me how much is it? Is it six point five percent? Yes. The survey projects at least six point five percent in real terms. So you got the two statement, beta. Look at the second one. अच्छा वन अच्छा लुक हियर हा स्टेटमेंट वन इज इन करेक्ट मतलब बेटा ये तो नहीं हो सकता ऑप्शन ए नहीं हो सकता ठीक है सो नाउ द एक्चुअल आउटकम फॉर रियल जीडीपी ग्रोथ विल प्रोबेबली लाई इन द रेंज ऑफ सिक्स परसेंट टू सिक्स पॉइंट एट परसेंट डिपेंडिंग ऑन द ट्राजेक्टरी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एंड पॉलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट ग्लोबली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट थोड़ा सा समझते हैं इसको नंबर इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट थोड़ा सा और देखना है इसमें हमें What should we see, beta? See, I cannot go ahead and say directly कि ये एक नंबर ले लो और मैं exactly इतना grow करूंगी This is what I want to grow. You can give a trajectory. Trajectory means path of growth, path of development. But this trajectory will be affected by a lot of things. Political. अब जैसे for example, there is a war going on. कहीं पे भी वर्ल्ड में कुछ भी हो एनीथिंग हैपेंस इन द वर्ल्ड वेदर कोविड इज स्प्रेडिंग वेदर देर इज अ वॉर वेदर देर इज एनीथिंग एल्स दैट हैपेंस वी आर इन अ ग्लोबल वर्ल्ड 
वन थिंग लीड्स टू अनदर ये सब चीजें इंटरलिंक्ड है राइट सो बेसिकली वॉट वी आर सेंग वी आर सेंग दैट यू विल ऑलवेज बी अफेक्टेड बाय इकोनॉमिक एंड पॉलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट्स वेर एवर ग्लोबली ग्लोबली कुछ भी होता है योर इकोनॉमी विल बी अफेक्टेड एंड सिंस योर इकोनॉमी विल बी अफेक्टेड आई के नॉट गिव यू वन नंबर एक नंबर नहीं दे सकते हैं I can give you a range that look somewhere in this range will be my trajectory, will be my growth. So what I give you is called a band. As a way, band over that between this to this, is ke kahi beach me your growth is going to go ahead and lie, right, beta? Okay. So let's look into it. Statement two, of course, is correct because I've given you the exact number. So it says that there is 6.5 percent in the real terms, and the range is between 6 to 6.8 percent depending on the trajectory. But try and understand why. Why a band give they give for the growth numbers, and we don't give an exact number. Okay, fine. But let us go ahead and take the next question. Read it out. With reference to economic survey, consider the following statements with regard to tax buoyancy. Let's read the statement. Tax buoyancy defines the relationship between changes in government tax revenue growth and changes in GDP. So, what is the tax buoyancy? The definition may be. It says tax buoyancy can be defined as change in the tax revenue when there is change. In the GDP of the economy, a higher tax buoyancy reflects increased efficiency of tax system. Goods and service tax collection is showing higher tax buoyancy than the preset GST system. Let us try to understand these things. But uh, let me explain you by taking two things into consideration. First, GDP. Versus tax collected. Second, tax base increments. Two things are which we have to understand in public eco. First of all, as the GDP of my economy is increasing. मतलब देर इज मोर इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी दैट इज टेकिंग प्लेस इफ आई हैव सेट द राइट टैक्स बेस इफ आई एम पुटिंग टैक्स ऑन द राइट थिंग्स जैसे अगर मैंने इनकम पे टैक्स लगा दिया तो जैसे जैसे लोगों की इनकम बढ़ेगी मेरा टैक्स बढ़ता जाएगा बट अगर मैंने टैक्स एक एक्स वाई जी कमोडिटी पे लगाया एंड एज द इनकम ऑफ पीपल इज इंक्रीजिंग दे आर नॉट इंक्रीजिंग कंजम्पन ऑफ द कमोडिटी तो मेरा टैक्स नहीं पड़ेगा आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो टैक्स बेस हेल्प्स मी अंडरस्टैंड किस चीज पे मैं टैक्स लगा रही हूं वॉट इज दैट थिंग ऑन विच आई एम पुटिंग द टैक्स एंड इफ आई एम पुटिंग टैक्स ऑन दैट ऑन दैट थिंग्स विच ग्रो एज जी डी पी ग्रोस जैसे इनकम ऑफ पीपल विल ग्रो एज जी डी पी ग्रोस इट मीन्स दैट माई टैक्स विल ऑल्सो ग्रो And tax buoyancy is telling me कि GDP की growth के साथ साथ government का revenue कितना बढ़ेगा How much will be increase in taxes when GDP of my economy will increase? So this statement is correct. Now try to understand the second thing. So second statement says that higher tax buoyancy means increased efficiency. Yes. अब imagine करो. I am measuring GDP through the expenditure method. और एक्सपेंडिचर सबका बढ़ा हुआ दिख रहा है एवरीबडी इज स्पेंडिंग मोर मनी बट गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट गेटिंग मोर टैक्स रेवेन्यू कलेक्टेड इट मीन्स दैट देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम इन द एफिशिएंसी सिस्टम देर दिस मीन्स दैट मे बी पीपल आर जस्ट हैविंग ब्लैक मनी मे बी पीपल आर नॉट एबल टू गो अड एंड ऑल दो खर्चा कर रहे हैं दे आर डूइंग एन एक्सपेंडिचर बट दे आर नॉट रिफ्लेक्टिंग इट इन देर इनकम्स so we need to have an efficient system to ensure that when gdp of the economy increases the tax collected also increases and if this number is high if my tax buoyancy is high 
मतलब मैं जैसे जैसे जीडीपी बढ़ रहा है मेरा न्यूमिनेटर भी बढ़ रहा है टैक्स कलेक्टेड इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग इट मीन्स दैट आई एम इन एन एफिशियंट सिस्टम द गवर्नमेंट इज वर्किंग एफिशियंटली दैट्स द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट दैट्स ऑल्सो करेक्ट बट वाई वॉज जीएसटी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड जीएसटी वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू रिड्यूस द इनफिशियंसी ऑफ द टैक्स सिस्टम to make sure that you collect tax at one point and you collect the tax efficiently so yes gd uh, gst helped you to increase the taxes collected in the economy and automatically <coughs> when you collect more tax buoyancy improves right so all these statements are correct okay beta look and the next question very good question golden revolution is related to कलर से देखो बेटा गोल्डन मतलब अकर ये दो क्या होता है गोल्डन कलर का हनी सो गोल्डन रेवल्यूशन इज रिलेटेड टू हनी एंड हॉटी कल्चर राइट सो यू कैन जस्ट रिमेंबर इट बाय दिस सो गोल्डन रेवल्यूशन इज रिलेटेड टू हॉटी कल्चर एंड हनी 1991 में स्टार्ट हुआ था इट लास्ट एट टू दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द नेम सो इट वॉज The father of golden revolution is Nirpak Tutaj, and the golden fiber revolution. जब fiber word use होता है, it is related to jute production, right, beta? All four points are very very important, and you have to remember them. Okay, beta. So these were very important question from the point of view of Indian economy. We will continue doing such sessions in the future. do make sure that you go ahead and you enroll yourself for our free mock test which is going to be up and live on 4th of november and it is going to be completely on the pattern of iit